what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and i'm into whole videos here on youtube today we're talking about coping with anxiety with public transport and public settings this video was requested so i thought i'd make it as soon as possible which is the next day i spent a uni lecture writing this script and it's three pages long <laughs> Call that right in. And I have to say one more thing. I'm floofy! Floofy! <laughs> so the first bit of advice I have is to plan your journey, which is a coping skill I use every time I leave my flat. Take a moment to plan your journey. What's your starting point? How are you starting your journey? When do you arrive at the location? If you're on public transport, when you when do you get up? How will you know you're at the right place? Are there any landmarks? Consider learning the bus stop beforehand or choose something like this. Next is how to cope in public spaces. So you've arrived at your location. How can you cope being around so many people? My first bit of advice is use headphones, earplugs, ear defenders something to block out the sound this can make you feel less crowded more isolated in your own space maybe you don't want to feel isolated here's what i have to say on the subject just a side note please remember that i'm not a professional i'm simply using personal experiences and what i've done i've researched on please use this as advice rather than a guide right let's get back on the subject of coping in public places We've talked about creating a personal bubble, but that's not for everyone. So what else can we do? Well, one thing I do is take a comfort item with you. Use it as a way of grounding yourself and keeping you in a moment. Now this can, this can be absolutely anything. For me, it is Mr. Unicorn. Mr. Unicorn is looking a bit scruffy. Yeah. Now I take this unicorn absolutely everywhere with me. He comes to uni with me. You can call me childish having a stuffed animal that I take everywhere, but it gets me out the flat. So that's the thing. Another thing you can do to help you out is breathing exercises. An example being the breathing square. You can't count to four while running your finger along the, the shape of a square. You breathe in for four, breathe out for four. In for four, out for four. It can help you feel grounded and present. Now let's think about family events and gatherings. Now this is something I personally struggle with. Family gatherings, because my family don't like the fact that I talk so openly about my mental health and they don't approve of most of what I say on YouTube. I've been a disappointment child. It's just some things in the past that have gone on that makes family gatherings really anxious. Make, 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 they make me really anxious. Even for my birthday next month. If you want to send me a card, message me on social media somewhere and I'll give you the, the address. So family get-togethers, how to cope. When you're involved in a family get-together, you can easily start feeling anxious. A few things you can do to help ease the anxiety you're feeling. So one thing you can do is wear comfortable clothes. So yeah, wear comfortable clothes. Take a comfortable comfort item or a fidget toy try to remember you're visiting people who care about you even if they don't show it now that's something i need to start doing plan out some talking points you can bring into conversation because if you have things to talk about you become more involved in the family event so i hope these things that i've said are somewhat helpful to you in your journey of recovery and getting out of the flat house whatever you wherever you live and yeah if you have any video requests let me know in the comments down below or if you have, have any questions ask in the comments down below basically if you want to get in touch with me use the comments <laughs> don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on the way out and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next video peace Thank you.